uh, before the sell-off that we uh, predicted and picked up here at the highs. BNB, man, look at this. In the last video I did, we were running here, and I said, if we get to this zone, maybe we need to take a sell. Uh, we didn't actually give an official sell up here. We're just kind of riding it out, but uh, everybody was fearing and footing BNB due to CZ, and look at the rally it's had, even in the face of Bitcoin. This is one that I do want to buy a bigger position of, because we're going to pair this with with our cake, which we're going to talk about here in a second, in an LP on PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap is still one of the largest DEXs over on the BSC network, and is offering pretty favorable APR to BNB paired with cake and the LP, something like 40% APR. And those are two assets that I like, two assets that, that I own, and think have some upside uh, objectives in the uh, next bull cycle so i don't think we'll have too much impermanent loss and we'll collect that apr on the back side of it as well bnb is here to stay binance is still huge binance usa is going to get more uh, regulate regulation guidelines bsc bep 20 is still a thing they just launched op uh, bsc the op uh, the um, op version of that network uh, so they're not going anywhere just because cz is more in the background Things are still trending in the right direction. They're doing buybacks and burns of the token. It's still the utility token of one of the largest exchanges in the crypto ecosystem. Now we just got to find a setup. Should have bought it here on the dip at January 8th. That would have been a nice setup and just paired it in the LP with Cake, uh, but just didn't get that done. Let's talk about Cake real quick as well. This is what we've been seeing up at Cake. Coming back from the dead as they are now deflationary. They're adding LP. They're adding uh, more pools again. And again, they are burning more and more tokens as they're still one of the top DEXs over on the BSC network. This is the critical uptrend line here that it, it remains to hold. We see it is starting to correlate with the 200 moving average and the 300 moving average. So I don't see any reason to be a buyer or a seller here. We're sitting at neutral. Um, it would be nice if Bitcoin drops that this can hold. I doubt it will. I'm sure we'll see a wick down back into the zone towards $2.25. But nonetheless, an asset that has was absolutely smashed in the bear market due to its inflationary uh, distribution. They are addressing that. They've reduced the total supply. They're still uh, survived the bear market in one of the top decks here. So I think in this next bull market, you're going to see more IDOs over there, see more trading volume over there, which is going to lead to a trajectory of higher for cake. 